So, we're going to talk about loyalty today. This older graffiti writer, he, he wrote for a number of years. I think he said like 14 years or something like that, or 17 years, and then he took like a long period off, maybe like 10 years or something, or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Long time on and then a long time off. And um, he submitted a, a suggestion, and we thought it was really interesting and something we would want to discuss. And he said that we should do an episode on loyalty. And he brought up some things that happened in his crew. What ended up happening was the crew that he was from ended up beefing with another crew. And this wasn't just your average run-of-the-mill beef. This was like lives were getting lost over this beef, you know. And it was like right. it's not, not just capping people's stuff, you know. This is real... They're you know. taking it to the next yeah. Yeah, phase. <laughs> They're going for, for it. quite some time. Um, yeah. And so, uh, so one of the things that I thought was interesting that he brought up was he, he had mentioned that the crew that they were beefing with, he, uh, he, he actually was really close to a lot of members from there. So I don't know if he told me exactly how he handled it. He might have. But I thought it would be a good topic of discussion because this kind of thing comes up that... You know, there's this whole thing among this culture where people talk about loyalty a lot, but then I I don't hear a lot of people talking about where do you draw the line with your loyalty? Like, I feel like people either misuse or over-exaggerate this whole idea of loyalty, like, like it's a cut black and white type of thing. Like you're either loyal or you're not, but like, where's all that in between the gray area where you're you know, are you supposed to just be loyal to everybody? If you say you're a loyal person, does that mean you just stick it out regardless if you agree with what's going on or not? Or if you're in a situation like this guy, and I'm sure this happens in all kinds of situations where sure. like, let's say two groups start beefing with each other and you actually have family members. You're part of this one group, but you have like members of your family in another group. Mm-hmm. Where is your loyalty supposed to be? You know, like if you get down with a crew you're supposed to be loyal to that crew, but aren't you supposed to be loyal to the people that you that you're tight with, you know? Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I figure we'd just open it up and see yeah. see where that goes, but it's so fucking complicated. It is complicated and it's already, you know, worthy of conversation, just people's belief system on what that actually means, what their definition of loyalty really is. Um what was your first experience with that word or that meaning that you actually believed that's what it stood for in a sense, you know, beyond just like a book definition, like what, when, what first happened to a certain, certain person where they grew this belief system on what that word actually represents. And that's, that's interesting that you even bring that up. Like I was saying, so not only is it already worthy of a conversation, but the fact that this kind of, serious rivalry consists of a group that he probably considered family before he was a part of this other crew is kind of the gist I'm getting from this. Maybe. I, I don't, I don't have quite enough I could details. Only, okay. To, well, I could only I mean, imagine. He had mentioned like, I believe that he said that uh, he came up with people from this other crew. Like, I don't know if he grew up with them, Okay, but he was tight. My understanding was that he was tight with people that were from the crew that his current crew was beefing with. Mm -hmm. So he's left in this situation where, like, how do I beef with people Mm -hmm. that I'm close with, you know? Yeah. You know, uh, so let's try to, like, unpack or dissect that in that way. Let's assume he already had, like, a a tight relationship and, like, a respect and a a love for, for one group. Uh, growing up that were more like childhood friends or like family in in that sense, neighborhood um, friends. And then later on, as as things developed, he um, became a member of this other crew first, which he was first known for like representing those three letters or whatever those letters were, right? And then shit happens later on down the line. Yeah, what side do you take? Like, that's like the ultimate question. Who am I loyal to here? Where, where does the loyalty lie? Right? Yeah. You know, when, when I was thinking about this question when you brought it up the other day, 
was thinking about like, well, where's the, where are the roots? Where's the foundation? What we've talked about a bunch of times, where is the why in this situation? Like, why am I loyal in the first place? Like, so why would I even be loyal to this cause? What is this cause all about? What is like the, the, what's the backbone to this entire situation? Like where, so let's say it's, it's the crew that you're from that you represent on the streets and they have a serious fucking um, issue with another group of, of guys. And if, and if you said, or girls, and if you said they've taken it to this other level that's now extremely violent and it's gotten to a point where lives are being lost, then it's like, okay, so what's the fucking cause here? What's the, what's the real reason that we're even fucking going at them? So loyal to this crew is one thing. I'm, I'm loyal to these three letters. I'm loyal to you. I mean, if we're talking about graffiti, right? If we, if we were just trying to focus on that, we'll spin it on like the realness that graffiti is when it comes to the violent side and all that, right? But if you're really looking at it for what it is, like I joined this crew in the first place to be a part of this collective, to be a part of, of what you guys do as artists so that we can inspire and grow as a fucking crew and smash on things and, and do our thing, right? Um, but then when you take it to this next level and, and when you take it to this next phase and now it's become violent and they're talking about, you know, dismissing these fucking individuals from the goddamn face of the earth and like they're taking it to that place and they're people that you grew up with that you already love and respect, then it's time to really recheck and revisit why am I even loyal to this or that in the first place? I think it'd be worthwhile to, to explore that conversation a little bit in terms of uh, if you take one of the things you're talking about as far as uh, you join a crew because you like their graffiti and, and you vibe with them as a group and you're joining them for graffiti and then it starts shifting to this other thing. I think there could be a lot of pressure and actually I have, I've heard of instances where people were in a group or in a crew that started going that path. And my understanding was there's, there was some people that didn't really want to go down that path, but they were sort of pressured because of this loyalty. Like you're part of us and this is what we're doing. And you know, you're expected to participate in this behavior and like, I'll take me for example, like that's, that was never on the agenda for me. Like violence was never my thing. Like I didn't really do a whole lot of fighting or, you know, flexing on people and outside of a handful of incidents wasn't really my thing. You know, like I'm not hating on anybody that that's how they, they handled their business. Like that, there's just certain people that do that and there's certain people that don't. So like if I found myself in a crew that was starting to head that direction and starting to feel pressure, like, hey, man, you're down with us. So you got to get down the way we get down, you know, is is that loyalty, is there, is there any value in being loyal to people that are going to kind of tr try to push you into some kind of, I'm not saying that, that that's what happened to this guy. I'm just mm -hmm. thinking like this could be a, a decent thing to explore deeper as far as like if you're not a violent person or if you're not whatever it is. Let's just talk about violence. If you're, you join a crew and you're supposed to be loyal to that crew, then the crew starts shifting to this more violent path. Now, according to like memes and according to like this fixed mindset way of looking at loyalty, you were supposed to be loyal to that crew. Whatever, whatever happens, happens. Like I'm down with you and what you do, I do all this kind of stuff. But like, what if you're not that kind of person? What if that's not your thing? Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to stay loyal to those people that are pressuring you to do that kind of stuff? To me, that doesn't sound conducive to a good relationship, no. you know, at all. Mm -mm. No, and, and not to, you know, not even to shit on, on, on the one who's like leading that mission or that, that um, whatever that, that need and that want to, to accomplish whatever they're doing. Like, we can get to that later and like kind of try to look at that perspective. But for, for like what you just gave as an example... It's one thing to have like-minded individuals that share a common, you know, love for uh, the art or this in the beginning. But if, if that shifts that drastically, then you've got to, I would suggest 
Cause, cause when I was younger, I could see how that could be confusing. I could see how that could, the lines could get very blurry there, but kind of go back to like, what's the meaning here? Like what's, what's the, um, the meaning behind what we're doing? What, what is the, uh, the why again? Like, this is how we're going to get them. This is where we're going to get them. This is who we're going to fucking get. And, but, but why? Like, where, where's like the, where do we all share the same like-minded, like, focus and like a uh, perspective on this situation here? And I mean, I, again, I know it's so much easier to, to say it than to actually do it. But if everybody had like that awareness and that free will and free mind of like, no, are you fucking kidding me? Like, what did he do? Did he, again, we've talked, touched on this too, like, See, it's, it's hard, man. It's hard. Because what if there was a righteous reason that somebody wanted? What if somebody's little brother or little sister was like something happened to one of them by this opposite crew? Like, what if like the, the reason for it, then how do we spin this? Well, like, how do you look at it in that sense? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be honest, though. Like, I don't think that's really our. I, my gut's telling me that's irrelevant. However, I mean, if, if there was like a... Yeah, like you had said in a previous episode, like somebody yeah. did something atrocious, you know. Sure. Like, like that kind of stuff, I feel like is more an exception. And like th that... That's, that's like the, the 1% that we're not really even covering. Right yeah, and I just kind of feel like gotcha. that's not really like our lane to be like, yeah, you know, maybe that's justified. Like I don't want to ever be like, well, yeah, I guess if, if this happened, then... Right shooting shooting up his house is you know uh, yeah. but i know that's not what you were saying but i mean yeah. i think like it's just you know let's talk about like stuff that's not so extreme to where like you know you would be willing to to do life in prison mm -hmm. you know <laughs> you know you know what i'm saying like, yeah i do it, and it's because you and i know the specific crews we're talking about that it's easy for us to kind of stay narrow into like how we would dissect this i'm i guess i was tr and sometimes i do this to uh, uh, a disadvantage, I like try to think of the entire spinning, you know, globe and like all like, yeah. the rivalries and like crew situations that could really be going down and like for reasons that are like, oh, that's what they fucking well, did. Okay, yeah. so I want to just like everyone to be able to like hear this and be like, oh, you know. So let's just say we're talking about somebody had mentioned this about politics, like, and mm -hmm. I'll I'll shoot through this really fast. And what he said was like the extreme right and the extreme left makes up like approximately, and this was like a kind of a guesstimate that he made 10% of the all the way right and 10% of the all the way left kind of make up of those people like mm -hmm. that are doing like the craziest shit on each side. But then the middle 80% is where most of us all sit. So let's say like somebody, you know, doing something, terrible to a family member is on those outskirts and we're kind of just talking about yeah regular yeah shit, yeah yeah you know yeah a family member a city a village uh whatever yeah i got i got you so you know i guess it's okay so from the let's just say crew member perspective um responding to let's quote the leader as far as how you want to respond to him asking you to be a part of this fucking serious situation, you know, the, the, the member itself can, if you're aware of like your situation, you look, you look back at like the foundation of like where this all started. And if, if this has all started in a positive, like kind of, this is us together, like again, as a collective, as an, as an art, artistic unit that we were doing all these positive things and it's shifted so greatly, then you got a voice. It's time to, to, to say something about that. I'm loyal to this crew and to our art and to our craft. I, I never signed up for this type of fucking shit. Yeah. This is not going to get us anywhere. If anything, we're going to lose half our crew in doing this uh, incarceration or worse. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, And then, you know, it's such a limited perspective. So, And then from the, also from the, the leader's perspective, like if the leader was looking at their members as I thought you guys were loyal, like, well, think about what they were loyal to originally. And like, what, what is it that you're, what meaning are you giving them to want to stick by your side right now and, and stick around? Like, what is the actual purpose of what's happening here? Is this all completely fueled by like your individual ego? And like, you just, I don't know if it's such a narrow perspective of like the outcome and like what you're going to get from the situation. I know it sounds so easy for us to discuss that and to think like, but it's so simple. It's, but it's not. 
Because look how many people. It it is if you take the time to digest it. Yeah. But I mean, these things would not have happened if it was so easy for everybody to understand. Like, because I mean, think about all those who were not um, fortunate enough to say be raised in an environment where they love their family, love where they're brought up, love their things, right? And they're just brought up by other individuals that perhaps were misguided. Let's just use misguided as as a as a statement, right? And that's your family, that's your crew, that's your gang, that's your whatever. And so like the, your tendency to be loyal to whatever that kind of, you know, influence in that fucking uh, majority kind of do on a regular basis, I guess it'd be easier to fall into that kind of groove, right? Yeah, so I'm trying sense. to I'm trying to look at it from that that perspective as well. Like where is the loyalty here? I guess it just comes down to like what that person really believes in. What what's your where's your foundation? Where's your roots? What is it that you what's your fucking why? Why are you doing this in the first place? Cuz if it's so far from your why or where your your why originated, fucking it's time to revisit that entire situation. Yeah, it's that's it's a tough one. It's I mean, I guess it's like um cuz I've I've found myself in these situations cuz like I've been from a handful of crews like mm-hmm. like I've been from one crew for pretty much my whole graph crew but I've kind of like joined a few others here and there and things like this have popped up. There was one time I get a phone call from the leader of a crew that I'm from and they're like, "Hey, we just uh got into it with so and so and this this is and that happened." So you can't be from both crews, so you got to pick one. And so I was like stuck with this dilemma. Like, I love both crews. I like being from both crews. Like, I don't want to drop one. Where does my loyalty lie, you know? And so I had to go back to, you know, just take a a serious look at like why I'm from each crew. And it wasn't an easy decision, but I had to leave one. So I made my choice, but it was like just being put in that situation in the first place. It just really bothered me. Mm -hmm. So like I ended up like kind of stepping away from graph for a few years because I was like, man, I'm I'm trying to do other things. Like I started hearing about beef and I don't remember how old I was, but I was like full grown in my career. And like I wasn't like I wasn't like on the streets anymore. And then we're talking about we're talking about stuff like beef and shit. And I was like, fuck, dude, I don't even think I was ever going to have to deal with that anymore you mm-hmm. know and here it is popping back up so like now i'm stuck with this this question like who do i who do i align with and i i picked the crew that just was more like i have love still for both crews but like i i ended up going with the crew that like that was more representative of me like i don't know how to explain it i mean yeah. I don't, I'm not trying to put anybody on blast and, and like it, it is what it is. And like, there's no lingering issues, no. you know, and this was a long time ago, but at the same time, it was like, you know, it was one of those situations where it's just like, I'm loyal to both crews, you know, but if I had to pick, like, there's always going to be one that I'm going to stick with. Mm-hmm. I mean, not always. I mean, if some fucking extra crazy shit ended up happening, I mean, I guess I would have to reevaluate. Mm-hmm. I guess... I don't even know if that's necessary, but like, I wonder, so we talked about a crew that is kind of heading in a different direction than they were when you got in. Mm -hmm. I wonder if like, we can talk about the idea of loyalty. Is it, is it this black and white thing where if you say I'm committed to being from this thing and I'm going to be loyal to it, is there a discussion we can have about evaluating whether or not those people deserve your loyalty you know what i mean like are they is there a discussion to be had about whether or not like you said they deserve your loyalty or whether or not that that loyalty is so black and white that i'm loyal to this crew so regardless of what you guys do and what you get into i got you yeah and like you hear all these things where like yeah somebody um you know when it comes down to like crime Mm -hmm. situations which is you know a lot of what we do uh, you'll hear situations where somebody gets caught and they don't say shit, but then mm-hmm. someone else gets caught and they rat them out, you know, like sure. stuff like that. So it's kind of like, you know, you see all these memes coming around, like about loyalty and, and all this kind of shit. But it's like, sometimes it seems like this loyalty thing is often a one way, one way street. You know, you have one, one person, 
showing this extreme loyalty and then as soon as as soon as given a chance like the other side doesn't show that same mm -hmm. you know that same loyalty back so i mean i wonder if if before you really kind of like really decide like hey i'm going to be loyal to these people like how do you make that decision like are they worthy of your loyalty mm -hmm. you know fuck man i think god damn it i think like if we go back to the why every fucking single time and really give that be loyal to the fucking why yeah like that's where the loyalty should lie i believe <clears throat> and if the loyalty see defining your loyalty like we started this with what does that loyalty actually mean to you to me at this very moment today my loyalty means the why it has nothing to do with each individual or the crew as a whole even. It's the fact that you share that why. Everybody's in. Like you were saying, like, I bet subconsciously you lean towards one of those other crews simply because the like-minded people in that one that, that, like you said, better kind of fit your state of mind and what you were into. That just yeah, naturally evolved in that direction. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. And the, going back to the why is, seems to be a good way to do just about anything to stay loyal to yourself. I mean, cause I don't know. I mean, I just think it gets thrown around so much that people might be kind of, you know, they, they sort of like just blindly follow not blind, but you know, they just follow things because they think that's what they're supposed to be doing. And like you said, if the, if the why doesn't match up, like, why am I doing this? Why are they doing this? There's probably a lot of leaders that don't really, that don't really understand what leadership really is like you're a good leader isn't isn't somebody that's just you know in power f for the sake of being in power like it's you're you're supposed to be steering the ship in a in, in the right right direction so mm -hmm. whatever that direction is like if if you're you know part of a violent fucking viking type of ship then yeah that, that's where you're steering it but like if you're in a crew and you have all these people looking to you for leadership and you're kind of not considering, you're considering like, like you said, the why, oh, you know, so-and-so disrespected us. So like, we all have to get in on this. You're not really looking at the, at the best interest of everybody that you're supposed to be leading. Well said. Authority, being a, a figure of authority is a, is, a, is a hell of a lot different than being a leader. Like taking on a position of authority, that, that's one thing to be like, that's our authority figure, that's what we're, who we're listening to for this thing, as opposed to this guy is a born leader. I believe in what he believes in. Like I will follow him fucking anywhere. Right? Yeah. What well, his common good, well, the, the common good for all of us, the cause of the why of what he's doing is the same why that I believe in. I, I will relate it to past experiences, whether they were recent or they were years ago, right? someone could be loyal to me no matter what. But if I'm acting a certain way and my belief system and my cause and, and what I'm up to in my life at that moment are not matching that, you're not giving them that reason to want us to continue marching with you in a sense, right? Mm -hmm. And giving that, like, that meaning and that reason to stay. You can take that loyalty and, and you can look at it in the exact same way for all that we have in our lives, right? like from relationships to business and when you go to go to business like so imagine two teams up against each other just like two crews and a crew leader right if you have a team that believes in the same thing you believe in that blood sweat and tears and their fierce fucking hunger and thirst for this this common goal is going to be fucking something to be seen opposed to the crew or the team who's doing it just for the paycheck or just for the fame, as we've discussed before, you're gonna see a whole different kind of punch from from either one of them, right? Oh, I mean, a very different type of swing and punch from from both sides. I believe the longevity is gonna come from the one who all believe in that same fucking mission, that same goal for that one ultimately positive and beautiful fucking purpose, as opposed to one that's just a self-seeking, egotistical fucking just want to prove a fucking point. Like that's gonna die out quick enough. Not to mention along with your members. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. I think there was an example that I, I um, heard recently about the Wright brothers. And they were their first um, attempt at, you know, powered flight. As opposed to this other guy who was fully funded. The conditions were perfect. The economy was perfect. He had all the best people on his fucking team. He had like New York Times following him around and like documenting every step they took. Um, 
all the money in, you know, that they needed to possibly fuel this endeavor. And you would assume that they had the recipe for success no matter what. And then the Wright brothers over here had a team of people who just had the like-minded belief and they were all just on it. And they, they didn't have even half of the same resources, but they were so dedicated and, and so about this mission together and believed in the common goal and the, and the good of what they were doing. And they ended up being the ones who uh, successfully, obviously, as we know, you know the Wright brothers, but you don't know this other contender, right? I, I forgot even the fucking name because it didn't, didn't ring in my head. And then the second that this uh, opposing team heard that the Wright brothers successfully um, achieved their, their goal, uh, instead of like complimenting them and then like going from where they ended up and then trying to uh, do even better with that, they just quit. They just dropped the ball because now it wasn't about the fame and the being the first ones to fucking do it and making the same amount of like stamp on history. So they just kind of gave up because their, their why was just for the fucking dollar in the first place. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like success in, in the success of something. This particular topic started with loyalty of the loyalty of my crew, the loyalty of the people beside me. Okay, well, why were they loyal? Why do you believe they should be loyal to you? And why do they... Should they be looking at you like, I'll be loyal to this guy? What's your fucking overall? What's your why here? What are you guys going for? Because if it's something like that, like, oh, just to cause chaos and fucking violence and fucking kill a few people and like, like, what the fuck? So, you know, this might rub people the wrong way, but what the fuck ever? That's just how I believe that why and how could you expect somebody to be loyal to something that has no overall... Um, outcome that's going to benefit everybody in a, in, a, in a way that's going to improve their lives or improve your crew. You know, the, the guy actually brought up leadership and he was talking about how it's interesting how some crews lead differently. Some crews lead like they'll say that, that it's like a family, but then when you really look at how it's led, there's really just somebody like pushing an agenda on other people. And I guess... This could be said about businesses and all this kind of stuff when you like I've had a lot of jobs. Well, not a lot, but I mean, I'm, I'm 46, so I've worked a good amount of jobs and very few of them had leadership that I really felt cared about me as, you know, whatever position I was like I started my own companies pretty early in my life. So so that I didn't have to work for these kind of people. But like you really get the sense of like. And I'm sure this happens in crews. Like, I've been fortunate. The main crew that I'm from has, has always had this great leadership that I felt, like, cared about all the individual riders, you know. Like, you got guidance and mentorship and, and you know, if you did something that you, you needed some coaching, you know, that, that was there. But then I hear people from other crews, and I don't have this experience with other crews where there's a sort of, like, a dictatorship kind of thing where – Somebody's just like, you got to do this. You got to do that. You got to do that. And so I don't know if the word loyalty even applies to that kind of thing, because it's almost like you're being ruled by some situation. And like, I think people could probably be sort of enticed by like a crew that has a lot of fame. And then you don't really want to leave that crew because you sort of like, let's say somebody hits you up and you're like, I write such and such. And they don't know who you are, but then you say, I'm from this crew. And then all of a sudden you have a little bit of a little bit of pull or like just a little more. Mm -hmm. oh, OK, he's a real writer because he's from this crew. So I think a lot of people might be stuck in those kind of situations where they don't want to leave a crew or they have this, quote, loyalty to this crew because of that thing that they're gaining from it. Being able to write that acro acronym next to their name mm. at potentially gives them a little more credibility than they would have had they not had that next to their name. Cause there's a lot of people from crews that, you know, mm -hmm. that you've never heard of, you right. know, and they'll be like, Oh, I write such and such from this crew. Right. And you're like, Oh, I've heard of that crew, but I've never heard of you. Mm -hmm. I mean, not in a dick way, but like in your mind, you know? Yeah. But, but as soon as they say like, Oh, I'm from, I'm from this crew and you're like, Oh, well that's a dope crew. So obviously they saw something in you. Mm -hmm. So I wonder how many people out there are sort of stuck in these crews because they don't want to venture off on their own. So they stay quote loyal right. to the, to the crew, which is not really loyalty in my opinion. Yeah. Especially if the, um, you know, cause first you want to question like their why in the first place, right? It's almost like, 
Okay, so if that's that's the main reason you want to hang on, especially if they're asking you to do some way out shit and you're just going to do it so that you can still keep writing those fucking letters next to your name, I would question like the why. Well, why am I even, why is that even such a big deal? Do I really feel like I'm not a writer without those three letters? Do I feel like I can't do great things in my life? Or is it because we all believe in the same common goal and, and I got them because they're, they're about some positive shit and, and those are my brothers and all that, right? I can see both sides of that. Yeah, it's, um, it's a trip. And then I ask myself too, like for me personally, I would say like, and I know I have not given the amount of time and attention and um, energy that I could have to, to the ones who have so graciously opened their arms to me. And I know why. There was a lot of things that were complicating my perspective for, for a lot of years. Okay, so and and I can only hope that those things change over time, and I can and I can build these relationships in the way they they should have gone in the first place, and then maybe even um, influence others to to do the same within that same group. So, but I would I would so take that away. Let's let's say that I had done my best to um, cultivate those relationships at the from the very beginning, and I and I kept doing that ever since. I would ask myself in those situations also, like, um, well, would that dude lay down for me? Because cause if you have that look, if you have that perspective uh, of your crew or, or your leader or your, your superior, whatever you want to call them, and you believe that they would do anything they can to, to protect you, and this, see, this goes back to the why again, too. If you believe that this person is in, in it for your best interest, and they would do anything to protect you and to ensure your survival and that you, your longevity and whatever it is you're trying to do, I would do fucking anything for that person. You know, you would lay down for them too. Like, whoa, why are you doing all this for this dude? Why, why would you even, because I know he'd do that shit for me too. So it's like you form that relation. First, your why is similar. It's common. In my, in my case, I would want it to be a positive and like a, in a growing mindset, right? And if, and if all those things line up and you know that cat's fucking, he's just about it and he's got you, it's like, what, what is there that you wouldn't do for that person? It's like what we do in here. I, I can use you as an example. The way that you treat anybody in here and, and, and the way things are going. You can't help but want to be jacked up to, to be a part of it. It's just that it's a, it's a common, um, growing fucking evolution and mindset that is, it's, hard, it's hard to not want to be a part of. Something I heard recently that I even like, they were given an example of a fucking olive tree. And it's like the, uh, the aerial development, the branches and the leaves dependent upon the underground foundation. It's a very simple concept. You're going to have people loyal to a certain degree depending upon the foundation and what the why is and the way that th- the seed was fucking planted and the ground that it was planted in and how, how the conditions, dot, 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 dot. You know, however you want to look at it that way. Man, I, I, I know it's redundant, but I, I believe going back to the why every single time. And yeah. That, you know. Yeah, and that, that'll make sense when you, when you think about if, if you find yourself questioning your own loyalty to your crew or to your business, your, the company you work for, whatever that is, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, you know, if you're finding that you're not feeling loyal, I guess going back to the why could be a good way to figure out what's going on there. Because... Mm-hmm. I would imagine there's a lot of people that run into situations where they're they're questioning, you know, do I really want to be a part of this? And I've I've been been there a bunch of times, you know, mm-hmm. in different areas of my life. So like I've had to step away from things and companies and even crews for for those reasons where I'm like, you know what? Like this doesn't feel like it aligns with what I I'm, I'm trying to do. Like it doesn't align with who I am. Like I've had that kind of situation where the behavior of the collective that I'm, I'm affiliated with didn't match up. And it was just sort of like, if, if this person's out here and he's doing this, this kind of behavior and I'm, I'm affiliated with that, I feel like I'm part of this sort of behavior, you know? Yeah. And so I've had to step away from situations because, because of that thing. And it also comes down to your core values. So if, if the, if the why doesn't align with your core values and going back to the beginning of what we were talking about, if, if you're in a crew because you like what kind of graffiti they're doing and then all of a sudden they start shooting up people, 
if that doesn't align with your core values, then why the fuck are you going to be loyal to something like that? Mm -hmm. Loyalty is, is irrelevant at that point. Like you shouldn't just be loyal because it's something people say you're supposed to do. It, people put all this importance on loyalty and it is important, but it's not a blind thing. It's something you have to carefully consider. If you're, you're, Loyalty is a big deal. So if you're actually being loyal to somebody, then, you know, you should better make sure that those people are worthy of, of you being that way for them, you know? Yeah. Well said, man. Um, you know, the most beautiful soul I've ever had the pleasure of knowing in my life showed me this about seven months ago in the sense of this, this individual being loyal to their core, to their core values and their belief system of what, uh, what they believed in and their non-negotiables. And if you put that first in everything you do with your crew, with your life, I mean, that's what it, that's what it should come down to, is are you being loyal to yourself? Yeah, your own core values. I yeah. mean, that's where, I mean, fuck everything else. Like, yeah. honestly, I mean, not fuck let me rephrase that. I mean, like it's, it's like, you've said it before, like, you know, you can't and, until your own shit is taken care of, like, what are you going to really do? So if you're, mm -hmm. if you're, if you're not loyal to your own values and to your own, why and your own, all this shit, who you are as a person, then w what does it matter? Like if you're loyal to something else, right? Like it, it's, I don't know if that makes, that makes perfect sense. That's but, exactly right. And, I, and it is that simple. Cool. Yeah, man. All right. Beautiful. Well, we are going to wrap it up. Yes, sir. If you heard any background noises, apologies. We're fucking busy as shit over here. So people are doing their thing in the background yeah, while man. we're trying to record this thing. So Gratitude is definitely the uh, theme song around here. Yeah. And uh, we truly appreciate all the uh, constant and continuous support. Can't say that enough. Yeah, thank you for all the messages and uh, sharing on Instagram, all the different things that have been coming through. I mean, we have people coming to the shop to pick up supplies and they're talking about the podcast and, and supporting the, uh, the direction that we're heading. So uh, we definitely appreciate all of you for, for getting on board with us. And uh, we hope you continue to stay on board and we will do our best to keep, keep bringing it the same way we've been. Yes, sir. And getting better, hopefully. No question. All right. It's a beautiful day. It Thank is a beautiful day. Yes, sir. All right, everybody. All right. Later. Peace.